and it's now injected. It, it was pretty painful, as you can see. But I'm a tough guy with a tough skin, and in the end, it works. Uh, it has to push a little bit, yes. I almost died here. <laughs> but now I am injected. I'm officially a part of the Internet of Things. Is it so funny? I think it's a pretty practical thing. I mean, I lose my keys, lose my money. Everything is in my hand right now. So, we will see big developments in the next future. Every um, car in the world will be fully connected to the cloud within a couple of years. Every car, in every situation. So, let's take it one step further. Let's talk about robotics. Let's talk about WD-40. I mean... <laughs> we look into the future, things... Also, in the future, things need to go smoothly, right? So, just be practical on this part. This is the Tesla factory. All cars are produced with robots, no human needed. And this is the Kifa. This is the robot assisting uh, uh, Amazon. And they drive your products into self-driving trucks. And this whole process is fully automated. No human needed. And when the truck can find me, because I'm living next to a big mountain and cannot access over there, it connects my chip. And the drone will detect where I am and deliver the book. This is what happens within transportation right now, which is very exciting. And in Holland, we have the ambulance drone. You know, when you almost die, <laughs> an ambulance is coming, and you'll be saved. And these technologies... And Pamela Anderson will be replaced at the beach of Cuba. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> you want to see it again? <laughs> OK, uh, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Especially like the, the guys there walking on the... So this looks nice, and then... Oh, you hoo suicide, yeah, I want to end my life. No, it's not possible, everything is driving, no. It won't be able to, to kill yourself in traffic in the future, but that's something that... So my son, he's three years old, he will never know what a driver's license is. When he's 18, he will say, you sucker, did you need a driver's license? <laughs> he will definitely say that. So, and then I, I, then I decided to chip him. <laughs> I mean, me and my wife, we are, you know, we like life and we talk about things. So then I showed him my movie, he started to cry. And we, then we decided not to give him a chip. For now. Appointment. <laughs> this is possible when we are able to connect systems, to connect devices and connect data and make it smart with smart algorithms. And the other thing is, I was driving to Paris and my car picked me up and he discovered that it's better to stop the car, take a train, and take a self-driving taxi because it saves me 45 minutes. This is only possible when systems are connected. Two, three weeks ago, a printer was announced that is able to print living cells, a tissue printer. So my ear fall off last week. <laughs> and it's now printed. You know Blockbuster video? 9,000 stores in the US. And they told um, Netflix 10 years ago, you guys are sissies. How come we are sissies? Yeah, you guys are sissies. People, people will never upload and download videos and on those small screens. I mean, won't work. They now are 10,000 times bigger than 10 years ago. Um, Blockbuster is dead. Because they didn't see it coming. They did not see change coming. And this is the reason why we need to keep our eyes open. Blind will be able to. <laughs> it's just a picture, guys. I mean, so we have an enormous potential. And, and a lot of green. I mean, we could get rid of 80% of all highways. So I think it's potential strong. There are three kinds of bears I meet all the time. The first bear is the black bear. You know the black bear? It doesn't want to change. Then we have the, the brown bear, and then we have the white bear. They love you. They change. They, they, they start looking around. And we need experiments. We need initiatives. And I want you guys to find 10 white bears and start rethinking the world tomorrow. Thank you very much.